Hello, this is Bruce Cheney. I'm here in the leather shop today. I'm going to build a bushcraft uh, axe sheath. Uh, I handmade a bushcraft axe, and now I need a sheath for it. I spent about 20 minutes working out a pattern like I wanted, and uh, that's the two pieces. I will have a filler in the front and in the back, and also a loop on the back for it to be uh, so this can be worn on a belt. So I would like to uh, kind of search through my scrap pile here. Um, I make uh, Western saddles, and there's usually a lot of scraps left, and there should be something in here that will work for this knife sheath. That piece right there might be pretty good. It's vegetable tan russet saddle skirting. That's what I'll be using. And I usually get my sides in 13 to 15 ounce and weight and thickness and um, there is some lighter pieces here there's a piece that's firm I want my sheath to be fairly firm let's see if that... I think this piece will be big enough for all my pieces my loop for the back and my fillers so I'll give this piece right here a try. I'll kind of take you through the steps and give you some ideas possibly on how to make your own axe sheath. I'm over here at my work table. This has a pando board or a rubber cutting mat. This is what I cut my leather pieces out on. This is my patterns. Um, what I've got here is a handmade bushcraft axe. It's lightweight, something you can carry on your belt, and it won't weight you down, but it's a very effective tool. Um, I handmade this out of a plow disc and put black micarta handles on it, and it has the brass fi fittings there to hold the handle on. I'll show you an uh, axe sheath that my dad built some 50 years ago, and it's still... Um, in good shape and very usable. I kind of patterned my sheath somewhat after that. This has a belt loop on the back and um, the first thing I'll do is kind of get a feel of the leather. I think, let's see, I believe that would work better that way. Let me see, make sure I I think it'll fold over better that way. And then this piece, make sure I'm getting those. Okay. I have a saddler's all here that I will use to uh, mark out my pattern. And then I'll cut my leather out right on that line. Sometimes I block the piece out and then come back and cut it right on the line. I'll show you what I mean by blocking out the piece. I can go slightly on to the outside of my mark there and get this uh, trimmed out so I can uh, work it a little better. This leather has been setting a while. I can tell it, um, the longer the, the saddle leather sets, the firmer it gets. This is my filler piece I'm cutting or blocking out right here. I'm 
another fiddle piece. And my loop. to slide that down just about a half inch. I'd rather have it just a little long and then I can trim it off later. A knife like this is very effective. It has a kind of a curved blade on it. They're fairly easy to sharpen and um, the blades can be taken out and replaced on a tool you might want to use. Make sure your blade is um, straight up and down and not leaning in or out. Makes a cleaner cut that way. You can make two or three cuts. That's okay. Just make sure you have your blade kind of square with the world. <laughs> 